Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Yes, the world is an illusion. But truth is always being shown there. It seems that we can talk about consciousness and consciousness studies, so long as it remains within the reality remit and does not push against the barriers of perception. This is why so much of our modern societies and the media marketplace are filled with pop spirituality, as they function as cultural remedies rather than revolutions. That is, they provide a band-aid plaster, rather than seeking to find a permanent cure. Many easy self-help practices offer a false exit revolving door, so that people are given the sensation of finding a way out of the system, only to be brought back into it again. Such teachings, or offerings, act as auto-tranquilizers. They act as auto-tranquilizing mechanisms, to provide an alternative treatment, or pleasing sensation, that appears as fringe or outside the system, but is not. Rather, it is another subset within the overall program, but a subset that does not constitute a threat or provide a means to perceive through the programmed reality set. In other words, it is an allowed anomaly. The allowed anomalies are examples of mechanisms of mental anesthesia that soften or even dispel the original urge to seek for answers. They also serve as a quick satiation or fast food to bring temporary satisfaction. Temporary satiation, or satisfaction, dulls down the real hunger, so that afterwards the developmental urge remains in the Goldilocks zone of not too hungry or too full, just full enough to want to keep on with the spiritual pursuit, yet not too hungry that they wish to seek beyond what is openly offered or available in the marketplace. The forces currently acting upon humanity are those that shall compel us to die away, or die to become. The opportunity now available compels us to become something qualitatively new. This is now the perfect time for personal advancement and for the expansion of perception and awareness. It is no longer necessary to be clever, it is essential to be wise. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end, to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. There has been a noticeable decline, in what, in simple terms, may be called the metaphysical quest, what has also been known as the spiritual quest. The inner impulse to seek beyond material physical appearances, has almost vanished from contemporary life. It was long ago co-opted into religious pursuits and fashioned into ritualistic ceremonies and dogma. And more recently, it has been ushered into what I have previously called ashram avenues and guru boulevards by people enticed with exotic interests. The glamour of self-development has found a wanting marketplace within the glare of social media. The depth of inner longing is scratched at the surface and satisfied by sipping at the singing bowls of inner harmony and world peace. It is all too easy to become stereotypes of ourselves, driven by platitudes of false mysticism and superficial attainment. There is so much within contemporary life that bears down upon us to make us forget ourselves, that just the act of self-remembering becomes a force of rebellion and treason against the material world. We are led to forget those capacities that we bring with us from the metaphysical realm. We are here in this world as both guests and custodians. We inhabit our bodies during the life experience in the hope of making the most of those gifted lives. And yet, we rarely come to realize the truth of who we really are. We become entranced by the material realm and its systemic diversions. Our independent liberty and free will is dismantled by succumbing to set patterns, habits, and programmed behaviors. Generally, in our societies, an individual is permitted to access a form of spirituality just enough to provide them with a taste or smell of satisfaction. This is then carried around throughout life as a constant marker of satisfied attainment, an outer recognized badge of honor. 
the individual then stops doing the work, the critical seeking, and falls into line within the game. The perennial memory starts to fade again. Yet, have we ever done enough? Human civilization is infected with deviant distractions, distributed through social, cultural, and also spiritual mischief. So much false gold within circulation, creates a parallel economy. On the other side, however, true gold increases its value. The disintegration of metaphysical values, and the moral decay that accompanies this, are part of a deliberate projection into hypermaterialism. We have yet to fully realize, that the fastest way to awaken, is to become the cause of someone else's awakening. By assisting and serving our fellow human beings, we are simultaneously helping ourselves. Many people are already awake, they just don't know it yet. Sounds contradictory. How many times have we known that something is the right thing to do, and yet we fail to do it? Similarly, so many people instinctively feel the inner urge and sense the inversion of the world, and yet choose not to act upon this. In the words of the sage and philosopher Sri Aurobindo, At first, the inner consciousness seems to be the dream, and the outer the waking reality. Afterwards, the inner consciousness becomes the reality, and the outer is felt by many as a dream, or delusion, or else as something superficial and external. Our current consensus reality is not an accurate portrayal of the life experience, and it is no longer where we need to be. We need to turn things around, so that the outer world is recognized to be the dream state, or the lower perceptive level of reality. It is time to choose a different timeline, if that makes any sense. If people continue to be fed by the dross of the external world, its media circus, entertainment absurdities, and directed propaganda, then the consensus reality gets continually imprinted, or validated, by these inputs that people feed back into the system. A new template or consciousness field, struggles to come into existence. The mass perceptive state remains low. Very low. And as a collective species, humanity can no longer remain at this low level of perceptive awareness, or ignorance, at a time when an advancement in awareness is vital. It is simply not sustainable in the long term. If this polarized state continues, then there is likely to be a splintering in humanity's future, and not everyone will walk the same path going forward. What we choose today, will become the reality we shall experience later. Now is the time for advancement in terms of perceptive awareness. It is time to expand. It is time to grow out of the lens of infantile perception. It is time to walk each step with awareness, with conscious knowing, instead of stumbling through on autopilot. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable, and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.